What's up, my degenerates? Welcome back to another episode of Plan Brie Uncut. This is a special episode brought to you by Mamitas. I fucking love Mamitas. Mamitas has been following me everywhere I go. I bring it with me everywhere. I have it on my college tours. It's hard tequila seltzers. They're super yummy. It comes in four flavors. We got mango, pineapple, paloma, and lime. My favorite is lime. I've been drinking them for a while now. And like I said, I wasn't a tequila girl. And now... I am all because of Mamita. So if you haven't tried them yet, you need to. It comes in four delicious flavors, like I said, and it's a hard seltzer made with real tequila. Super yummy, super good. Also, you don't get super hungover off of them, which is amazing. They don't make you feel bloated and shit. They're really super good. So you can get Mamita's tequila variety pack. Find it at drinkmamitas.com or order it on GoPuff. Let's get into the episode. What's up, my degenerates? Welcome back to another episode of Plan Brie Uncut. We have a very, very, whoop, very whoop, special whoop, guest here whoop, today. Whoop, whoop, we got whoop. Tico Ten in the hey, building. Tico hey, Ten in the building. Tico Ten in the building. Say what? Say what? Yes, we got Tico motherfucking Ten on yes, Plan Brie. We've been trying to do this for a while. Yes. It's, been a, it's been a minute. A little bit. Yeah. You know, Abby. Yeah. It's all good. <laughs> yeah. We had a little bit of a night last night. Oh, my God. How was your night, Tico? You started here at the work party, didn't you? I did. I started here at the work party. They had cheap liquor here, though, mm-hmm. so that's what fucked me up. Okay. Because it was Cuervo. I, I like tequila. Yes. So the only tequila here was Jose Cuervo. Mm. So that- I started on that. And then, you know, high school we, shit. then I went into Patron, then I went into Casamigos. So. You, you worked your way up the pyramid. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Exactly. You exactly. built it up. So, you built it up. And then cool. we ended up at Catch, and we all catch. got pretty fucked up. Grace actually didn't make it out. <laughs> I didn't make it out. I was sliding my drawers <laughs> off in the bathroom. <laughs> no, it was crazy. Dude. I felt I fell asleep happened? all the toilet with my drawers so off. So what happened? Why, why didn't you make it to Catch? Because I, I was in a weird mood. Like, I, I, I I, when my leg was going out. nuts, she okay. she made me come out. It was okay. a crazy turn of events, because okay. usually it's me saying, yo, Brianna, like, we're only young ones. So, like, we got to go. <laughs> okay. She's hitting me with that. I'm like... My have the tables have turned. Wow. And yeah. but so I wasn't in the right headspace. So what, I just kept the spot. What's the first spot? All my drinks, and, and then by the end of it, I was like, oh, no. <laughs> what was the first spot? Because you didn't go to Palace. Yeah, no, didn't go to catch. Bar, Blue, Blue Blue didn't go she didn't go to Blue Hibney. She didn't go to Blue Hibney. This <laughs> bitch was blacked out at 11:30. 11 blacked out. They couldn't talk. At 11:30. She kept saying, "I've been this drunk since high school." Y'all, 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 y'all went to a restaurant. Where'd y'all go? We just went. Well, we just wanted to have a casual like casual drinks at our okay. like favorite bar okay and then Blue I, what, what i found out and what i've learned i once i put alcohol to my lips it's like i want to go all night long yeah. me too which is usually me too, me too. yeah <laughs> me too it's once fucked it starts, up i can't just do I casuals I no swear. I, swear I know tonight way. last night was the first night we like drank together no it, it is and i i really enjoyed it a yeah lot, it was honestly. fun it, it was, was fun. so fun. I, I have fomo you guys gotta film no, me like, what so the fuck fun. happened you all right so first of all you started your night with uh corvo um no but i'm gonna beat a bitch up Oh, wow. oh, what the fuck? How did oh, I not man. even? The fuck was that? Tico, Tico, oh, Tico, how the fuck did God. I forget about this? You're dropping this. It started at the work party. It happened at the work fill party. Fill us in, fill us in. Start from the beginning. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fill us in, baby girl. I'm on oh, Tico's energy God. today. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. I don't, okay, I won't hit all the details, but basically I'm at the work party, you know, uh, Kind of at Barstool. It's like I'm new here, so I only talk to who talks to me, kind mm-hmm, of, right? Fair. So at the work party, I wasn't I talking to anybody. That. And that's why I tweet, I, right, I tweeted, I was like, I wish Grace and fucking <laughs> Bree were here because I, I literally have no one else to fucking talk to. <laughs> so that's why I did that video. I was by myself just drinking. I like to say I wasn't and invited. And then, um, <laughs> you know, a little, a little, a little, look, one of the little Caucasian bitches came up to me. A and baseball. Uh, <laughs> baseball one, of the, one of the baseball fans came up that to me. That is awesome. And they were being. Tico calls white people baseball. baseball my fans, yes, yes. In case people don't know, and everyone's huge. saying it's so racist, but it's like if you know if you've been around for a while, then you know you know the joke. That's like and people are on my DMs, are like, so if I call black people basketball fans, would you be okay with that? I'm like, I mean, black people are basketball fans, yeah, so shit, fuck? go go the right the fucking head. I, I got no problem with that. Baby fair at enough. All. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair no, enough. A, ba- a baseball fan came up to me and she was like all in my face. I'm talking about she got my number. She's oh, like, being, like sucking your dick, sucking my dick. Okay. You know, sucking my dick, like <laughs> sucking it. Like damn, I was about to nut right on her face. Like <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> she, she's sucking the fuck out of my dick. So she's sucking my dick. She's just sucking my dick, sucking my dick till I come and uh, <laughs> get to my number. Even telling me, oh, I'm seeing you're gonna be inside my Southwest. I'm gonna be there with Token CEO. So that's a hint. Yeah. 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 I'll be there with Token CEO and I want to link or we can link. I'm talking about she was in my face for 40 fucking minutes. I got it. Okay. I know who it is. 
<laughs> Don't say it, cause I'm not. I'm I not, thought we were dropping I'm, it. No, no, no. I'm not supposed to reveal it until the Dave Poitney show on Tuesday. Okay, so fair. I'm only. That's why I'm only giving like fair hints enough. and not exactly Everything saying it, fair. because I, I know I'm gonna is. do the. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> 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 um, so she's like, I'm gonna be there. So she's all in my face, all in my face, all in my face, and then she leaves. I don't know if I should tell the whole story. Maybe I should like save some for days. Well, this doesn't come out till this comes out after. Okay, cool. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, perfect. Okay, so all right, guys, another quick commercial break. So today is a good day to get shit done. Too bad you're crashing. You can IV drip the drags for the morning's coffee again, or you can try something new like Napjitsu, which has nootropics and caffeine to keep you going strong. So Napjitsu gives you brain boosting nootropics to unlock steady energy and focus right when you need it. The result, your peak performance all day. This is like some limitless shit. I feel like when I take this. I'm uh, limitless. I'm Bradley Cooper and I am unstoppable. So uh, Napjitsu offers 13 powerful natural brain enhancing nootropics. That's good for you because nootropics boost cognitive function, memory, focus, and creativity, and a lot more too. So it's just making your brain bust the wa- bust wide fucking open. It's amazing. Uh, also like ca- caffeine, you crash. I don't want to be seen with a monster in my hand. It's embarrassing. So I would want I would I want to do this, and you guys should too. So it's patent pending. Now capsules have natural ingredients like B vitamins and many many more vitamins in them. It gives you six plus hours of energy, time released in three doses, so you don't crash. That's like the coolest part to me. It's time released. It it's like limitless. I'm not kidding. So for a limited time, you can receive 30% off your first purchase when you go to napjitsu.com slash Brie. Go to napjitsu.com slash Brie for 30% off your first purchase today. That's N-A-P-J-I-T-S-U dot com slash Brie. Go get on your limitless shit. Check it out. Let's get back to the show. Um, Michelangelo, uh-huh. which I love. love I personally love him. Huge. And mind love you, that. I've never drank mm-hmm. with him. I've never hung out with him. But I feel like you know energy. He's, I'm very energy yeah. person. Mm-hmm. So it's like I felt Good his vibes energy. Always always is lit like i loved it so michelangelo comes up i'm like oh my gosh your friend Riley, right <laughs> so he comes up and we start drinking and then the shorty who will not be named we'll call her lord voldemort right okay <laughs> <laughs> so voldemort <laughs> <laughs> let's just call him lord voldemort <laughs> Yes. So Voldemort is like saying, oh, we're going to go to the flat something. I literally didn't even hear it because I didn't care. I wasn't going. Yeah, That's the thing. <laughs> so I didn't even hear it. It's like, we're going to the flat something. That's what you told that man. I'm like, okay, cool. Like, I don't know. That's y'all shit or whatever got yeah. going on, right? So she leaves with some other guy. I want to say, gosh, they said his name last night. I don't fucking know. I don't know whatever context with some either. other guy. Yeah, with some other guy, she left with him, and then me and Ma were sitting there drinking because we're like, why would we go to a bar and pay for drinks when there's free drinks yeah. here until eight p.m. The fuck? So that's stupid. <laughs> yeah. So me and Ma, we're like, we're chilling. Yeah. Right. We're like, we chilling. Da da da. He's like, you want to go? I was like, man, I'm chilling. He's like, alright, cool. So we chilling, and Ma wants me to be in his film. Oh, okay. huge. He's doing a film, and he wants me like this 1930s de- detective, you know what I'm saying? Real sexy. Oh, sexy. So he's, sexy showing me, he's showing me the clips because him and his dad, um, his dad and Stu did mm-hmm. a, uh, a scene together at okay. Stu's house. Okay. So he's showing me clips from that, and as he's showing me the motherfucking clips... A motherfucking text Shut the pops fuck the up. fuck up Shut the fuck on up. his motherfucking phone. Shut the oh, fuck up. Oh, swear to God. Shut the <laughs> fuck you, up. Five minutes before, I'm not looking at his phone. Five minutes after, I'm not looking at his phone. How is it so universally aligned? That the second you're looking at it. The second I'm looking at his phone. What's this shit say? The bitch pops up. It says, oh, gosh. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm, I'm, getting, I'm, I'm getting triggered. I'm getting triggered again all over again. The, the text says, wait, don't invite Tico. The fuck? The fuck? The life of the motherfucking party don't exactly. invite Tico. What the fuck? Don't invite Tico. Mind you, I was never even fucking going yeah. in the first fucking bitch. I didn't like, want to come. You know, and it's like it's like if you wanted it to be special, intimate, that's fine. But why the fuck you say my name? Say don't bring people. Specifically, don't bring people. So yes. You specifically said my or name. Or just say I just want you to come. Just you. exactly, no. just you. But instead, you put up my name. So I saw it. Ma is so awkward at this. He's oh, I like, couldn't imagine oh how awkward gosh. that was. Oh, Michael was like, boy. he's like, he's like, I'm not going <laughs> anywhere. I'm stress. literally sitting here with you, and I'm just gonna drink until this shit's done. Like, he's like, I'm so 
so sorry because he was like at the end of the day even if they don't know you or whatever it is this is my, this is my first time hanging out with you right and I'm getting my feel of you yeah. and I'm fucking with you they have to do the same thing exactly you know they can have a little a, assumption of who they are who, who you are uh -huh. but when they actually kick it with you and talk with you they're gonna probably see it's a whole different you know what facts honestly Tico seems crazy and shit because she's all yeah. over the top of that's it's like your personality it's your persona for work and exactly. shit like it's, that's it's your an shit so like you yeah. could i could see how you could maybe scare someone off yeah. into thinking that but then like when i really get to know you you're fucking great and you're like thank a normal you. ass person thank too. you so much for real. thank you thank you we continue to get fucked up you know what i'm saying nothing it, you know it was a little awkward but it was fine and then um I did not tweet until two hours after I saw that text because I started getting more drunk. And then that's mm -hmm. when I was like, oh, well, you know what? Fuck that. Let's shit. call this fake ass shit out. Because at the end of the day, it's not right. No. I feel like when people do shit like that, it's just like, it just seems very like clicky. This is our click. No one else can be in our click. Like, mm -hmm. bro, who the fuck are y'all? Y'all are not celebrities. Y'all mm -hmm. are not anybody crazy that everyone can't, you know what I'm saying? Equal like, it field. just doesn't seem like open and it's like already i had a problem with kind of trusting co-workers i be feeling like everybody's fake here mm -hmm. so it's like now with this now what like my paranoia has just super heightened because the bitch was Fair. in my face for 40 minutes that's crazy that's the craziest part that's how she had my number to text me the apology text because she just got my number that's crazy what so what when she apologized how do you handle it so obviously when i did this shit on twitter it popped the fuck off yeah <laughs> so i'm guessing she was at dinner yeah with Corey. it's probably shitting herself who, who ended up Hopping into the Fendi, and he was the Fendi. He was like, "I'm. I, it was my. It was, Corey was like, it's my intimate thing. All right, Corey, you should have texted Ma then. Yeah. Why the fuck did she then? Because you, she wants to blame it on Corey, but you're the one who sent the text. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So Corey was like, oh, it was kind of like just a little small group thing, and that was fine. I just, ne I never even wanted to go. Yeah. But it's like now, damn, like, I, I feel just weird about it, you know, mm -hmm. and I just feel weird about who's in my face being fake yeah. and behind my back, doing shit like that. Yeah. You know, so. So that's, how, that's how that shit went down. That's how that shit went down. And it'd be like that, though. It'd really be like that. I know. It people does. fucking, like, so fake. I'm, a, so I'm always like, what the fuck do people say about me when I leave a room? Oh, exactly. God. That's, that's why, why I don't talk to anyone. Like, I don't hang out true. with anyone else. I literally, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I don't want to say it. Like, I don't, I know you don't fuck with me. No one, exactly. like, it's, people are so fake, dude. Exactly. It's crazy. It's, it just I just got sucks. one friend, bro. That's how it was. Got one friend. I was like, I got to bring her here, too, bro. I can at least have a friend here. I know. Oh, uh, I know. Seriously. Okay, well, Tico, yeah. I uh, feel like you're a mystery a little bit. Yeah. I feel like a lot of people don't. Like, I know the Tico, the facade, the crazy mm -hmm. shit you put on, but I want to know about, like, Tico, like, where the fuck and how the fuck did you start doing what you're doing? Like, social media, the rapping, like, where did Tico begin? Tico began from being an actress. Okay. I moved to LA 2012 to be in this short film. And um, it was really, really dope. It was um, a West African short film for my best friend was a senior at USC. Okay. So I did it for her senior short film. And it was really, really dope. And that kind of got me into like the creative mm -hmm. atmosphere. So I was doing modeling. And then um, my neighbors downstairs, I don't know if y'all know who Brooke Candy is. Mm, maybe she's, if I saw. she's a rapper or whatever okay. like that. She's a little white girl rapper, but she actually blew up Baseball pretty him. big. No, she like she wears like basketball. Like, and shit like that. No, nah, <laughs> maybe she likes like. I don't know. Somewhere in the middle, Second like football? or something. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but she was my neighbor, so we started um, all rapping together. Okay. And, you know, I met Tyler. I met Nipsey. I met Sean. I met a lot of people, you know what I'm saying? And it just kind of got me into, like, more into music mm -hmm. instead of acting and modeling. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's your passion? Which one? Do you, what, like, if you had to pick? I feel like I'm more confident in my acting and probably modeling abilities, but like music is my real passion because mm. it's just like, that's where you can really express yourself. Yeah. Cause it's like when I was acting and modeling, they were like, oh, you gotta be a cookie cutter. You can't smoke weed. Mm -hmm. You can't drink. You can't do this. You can't do that. They wanted me to literally like, they wanted me to like, uh, like they wanted me to cut off my Audi. I have like a little Audi yeah. or whatever. They wanted me to cut it off. They wanted me to be, to be so basic. And I was like, what the fuck? I mean, in rap, you can be whatever you want to be, mm -hmm. you know? So I would say that's more of my passion because I yeah. can be myself. All right, guys, another quick commercial break for HelloFresh. So HelloFresh, I've been using it since college. All my friends use it in college. Grace's fridge is actually stocked up on HelloFresh right now. She doesn't go home, so it's all going to waste. I wish that we could have put it to some fucking use. But HelloFresh is America's number one meal kit. It makes life so much easier. It saves you time. It saves you money. I hate going to the grocery store, okay? Also, when I go to the grocery store, I buy a bunch of shit that I never end up using. It goes bad. My fridge fucking smells and shit. And then 
then it's just a waste. It's a waste of money. It's a waste of my time. I don't waste time or money with HelloFresh. So it's uh, meals delivered straight to your door. Anything that you want, really. Any portion sizes. It's super yummy and it's super easy. I've used it. I'm not a good cook. HelloFresh makes me feel like fucking, uh, what's that? What's a Guy Ferrari in this bitch? Guy Ferrari in this bitch. It makes me feel like I'm seriously a chef. Yeah, get HelloFresh, guys. And also, I have a super good uh, code for you. So you can go to HelloFresh.com, plan 16. Use code plan 16 for up to 16 free meals and three free gifts. So that's a lot. Go to HelloFresh.com slash plan 16 and use code plan 16 for up to 16 free meals and three free gifts. That's a baller thing. Go do it. Uh, let's get back to the show. Okay. Yeah, so uh, when did you leave LA? I left LA when Corona hit because I was oh, there for a around. while. I was there for a long time. Yeah. Shit. And so like 2020, 21. Okay. Yeah. That's a I long left. Ass time. And I went to Houston for six months. Okay. So that I can kind of, cause like I, like I was like a fake celebrity in LA. Like I'll mm-hmm. go out and I'll get the free drinks. Mm-hmm. And like I was in this penthouse and everything was lit, but I wasn't doing anything. Mm-hmm. You know, it was like fake clout. Like it wasn't really like going towards a passion. Mm-hmm. It was just like sitting there really like just being complacent. Mm-hmm. And like, I'm happy because I'm kind of lit and I can go to every bar and get free drinks mm-hmm. and all that shit but I wasn't really doing anything so I was like let me go to Houston and kind of reevaluate my life because I'm getting older and mm-hmm. I need to have a legacy mm-hmm. so I went to Houston and then I kind of like you know some shit happened in Houston and then I got the call from Kareem and Eddie to come here for the Dave Portnoy show just to interview yeah just to be on a guest on there out of a whim like out of nowhere I mean Dave had, had, like since I met I got into Barcelona 2015 since then I probably every year at least Dave will do something with me yeah, yeah, yeah so it's like you know it just it was about that time people yeah. were like hitting them up like where's Tico where's Tico so like oh we can do it over the phone I was like no nah, fuck that I'll come to New York yeah and then on literally on the train to the interview I was like I'm gonna pitch my fucking podcast fuck yeah because Dave is my homie kind yeah. of right <laughs> and he has this company <laughs> like i don't know why i didn't think about it earlier People, baby. You know, this is kind of this, this, it's all clicking like hold on let me get some of that money let me get some of that clout let me get a platform might be able to do something with it might be able to do something with it so uh, he did not know that i was going to ask him for a job no god no uh, he did he had no idea <laughs> so i asked him and he was like let's see what happened and then that was in like end of july October 4th is when I signed my contract, baby. Now look at you go. Fuck yeah. Now we started here. about the same time, my girl. Hey, hey, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, we finessed. We finessed. We, we finessed. We finessed. We finessed. I still finessed. Yes, 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 yes. We finessed this shit. Yeah, yeah we did finesse that shit, though. Yeah. It happened so, like, fast, and it's so crazy, and it then is. it's like, overnight, and you're like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah. What's going on? This life is my crazy. Life so, is so since Barstool, how, yeah. is, how has things changed for you? You had to move to New York. Yes, I did, which is tough. tough. Yeah. Definitely tough. Elaborate on that. Well, yeah. I have no friends here. I have no boyfriend here. I have no life here. Do you really, have a boyfriend in of, Texas or LA? No, you know, had d- dudes I was dating at least, you know, mm-hmm. old exes, old dick at yeah, least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I came out here, I didn't have sex for like four months. Yeah. Are you on, are you on Raya? Am I on what? Raya. What's, oh, the dating app? Yeah. Like, I'm sure. on BLK. So What's that's that? where, uh, it's like black people. Okay. Yeah, so it's like black people dating black people. <laughs> Be okay. It's like black people. It's like black people. It's you like, you, you want, can't get on that. You like you black people. You, 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 you want to find some black people, you go to be okay. I'm out here watching baseball so, yeah, games. I don't know. I'm on there, but I like dating apps. I don't think dating apps, they can be kind of like I've I've toxic. Never, I've never had a date. I'm not yet. interested on that. Yeah, I'm not going to yeah. lie. They, they're they toxic. I, I literally don't even be on it because I feel like it's kind of fake. It's kind of toxic and it's a very hookup culture thing. And it's like, yeah. I'd rather meet a guy out. And I like, think that's all bad. Because then you're texting and then you meet up and it's always going to be awkward it is it's always going to be it fucking is. awkward it i would awkward. so much rather just meet you at a bar exactly and then exactly. figure yeah. out what we're going to do after that yeah. Yeah. i have a, i have a whole twitter thread of how creepy hinge is it's hinge so is creepy. creepy it is i mean and i can't do tinder anymore because i'm a thousand years old so exactly what it's is like, tinder for the youngings i guess i think it's for like college kids. I, I guess we're hooking up i don't oh, think yeah. tinder's tinder. for hooking up yeah, yeah. I don't think tinder's strictly tinder hooking up it's strictly hooking up you're not finding nothing on there yeah no, no, and then no. bumble's I've never weird had a because bumble you have to you as the girl you have to talk to them first and i how do y'all feel about dating in new york i feel like it's kind of trash well you're newly single <laughs> <laughs> i'm not gonna lie i don't so know every- now, my boys. <laughs> I'm having so fun. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I don't we know. We still it's do kinda, I don't think I could. It's kind of it's kind of fucking trash. Like I feel like, okay, I'm from the South, right? You, we like to court. 
You know, you like to take a girl out on a date. Yes, yes, You know, yes, yes, like yes. like the the right way to do things. In New York, it's like, oh yeah, we meet. Like, come on, let's fuck right now on this table. I know, yeah. right here. It's like let's just right go get now. go to the bar. Don't even sit down and get like a meal, yeah, and exactly. then go home exactly. and go fuck. And yeah, go fuck. It's just kind of. I feel like that's kind of like it's too sped up. Like it's yeah. like, come on, where's the courting? Where's a little bit of the chase? And you know, it's so hard. Especially because, like, where the fuck are else are we gonna meet people? Exactly. Than the club or the like, you don't where? just meet someone where? at a coffee shop. Like, we're a always movie. at work. Exactly. Yeah. And it's like you don't want to fuck anyone <laughs> here. Well, who, who, yeah, who, who are you fucking at work? <laughs> no, I'm just saying we're always at work. So it's work gonna meet anyone. or partying, and <laughs> both of those we places are not where you want to meet. Baseball fans, man, come on. No, you can't fuck no, anyone not, from not, work. Not, you can't no, be doing no, that. Not pulling with Jordan. Oh no. Yeah, don't pull a Jordan. Yo, Rudy. Fucked her and never talked to her again. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what's going Fourth on? Friday. 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 Couldn't find the plan for you. So we do that at Parcel Friday. Yes, I love y'all. I know it's always great. easy with y'all. So, um, your brother yes. is your co-host with you, Patrick. Yes. Mm-hmm. How did that happen? Do you like it? Do you like working with your brother? Is it like a good dynamic? Do you think it makes the relationship? A little weird. Um, you know, Dave, whenever I was looking for the Seagull 10 co-host, he said, it doesn't have to be us. It doesn't have to be someone at Barstool. It can okay. be anybody, you know. And he was like, you know, maybe you shouldn't even have somebody at Barstool because do they, do they know about hip-hop? music and culture do they know about the things you're talking about so i was like you know what i always talk sports to my brother i mm-hmm. always talk just co- like just on the phone period mm-hmm. so let me go ahead and bring him in but you know what i noticed is that i can't be myself all the way with him and i kind of noticed it little, i kind of yeah. noticed it when we did the mean girls podcast and it was just like girls just talking about yeah. dick about whatever the fuck we want to talk about <laughs> saying, like, not, i don't want to hear that i don't want to hear that I, yeah and, and it's, he wasn't on the podcast he actually yeah. was like busy so he couldn't be on it okay. that was my first time i was like damn it's kind of cool to be around like girls and kind of have that i feel like it's kind of like more comfortable but i think that it's great also having him like i feel like he brings a great deni- dynamic but it's just like i feel like i can't 100 percent be comfortable. i feel that yeah mm-hmm. it's your brother at the end of the day can't exactly. talk about I can't like getting about... dick down and I think, shit. exactly yeah. 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 i was talking about when we were on yeah. yours check that one out that one oh was my gosh incredible. please check out chicken fry and i'm yeah, happy on the tico 10 we got because we, we, we got really fucked up yeah, we really got, we got up. really fucked up like really when it comes to tico we're gonna get fucked up this is what it is yeah it's because y'all already getting fucked up and i'm getting fucked up us two together i'm not gonna lie Last we night, I was like, me and Chicken Fry, we low key don't need to even have no events together because we will literally die. Oh my die. God. No, no, but Tico, we you will die. Do a tour. We will we die. Was, we will die. We will, we will people die. Will die. Yeah. It was so fun, though. It was so fun. <laughs> it was, it was, so, it was fun. so fun. That can't happen. That's why I don't have a though. voice right now because we were screaming Drake at the top of our <laughs> I, lungs. No, me and Tico were going <laughs> word for word, fucking <laughs> every night, song that came up. Just me and Tico locked in, zoned in, screaming. Fucking screaming. What was wrong with that? I was at a club before that. The music sucked so bad. Okay. Well, it didn't suck. It was just like, I like lyrics. Exactly. And if I'm not on Molly, I don't want to listen to fucking laser beam music. Exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I, like, I know exactly the EDM shit. So I go to Palace. I buy 100%. a bottle. I spent like $3,000 in 10 minutes. And we didn't Stop. even, we didn't even drink the bottle. Stop. There's a, this was so. Are you fucking serious? Right now? So, wait, wait, wait. Is she, is she fucking she's serious? She's not kidding. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Tell me she's fucking kidding right now. <laughs> Tell me she's fucking kidding right now. Yes. Wait. <laughs> so we, bet, we buy the bottle. I, I buy the bottle. Are you Kylie Jenner? And I'm like, like, wait. <laughs> um, so we, uh, I buy the bottle and okay. then I'm like, what the fuck? This sucks. We don't even finish it. There's like a wow. table of all the bachelor guys right next to us. I just take the bottle. I, I walk over, place it on the table, fucking leave. And then we go to the, where the fuck Catch. were we? Catch. Yes, yes. And the music was so, good. I come in, I'm like, this is so it. Good. This is great. This was also great. didn't know all of Barstool was at Catch. So I walk in, that bitch, <laughs> that, th- that threw me for a fucking all of Barstool. Loop. I walk, all of Barstool. <laughs> she only thought, she only thought I was there. I, I walk <laughs> in and I'm like, the fuck? I see Alex, I see Hannah, I see Kite, I see fucking everyone. I'm like, I was like, what the fuck? What the fuck? And then I was like, it's a bar stool party, I guess. It literally was. It was it a bar stool party. No, I did not know what I was walking into. It literally was a bar stool party. It literally was a bar stool party. Here I am, the asshole. It skipped the work shit. And then I'm just out <laughs> after, like, ah, oh, fuck all y'all. No, fuck that work shit. I didn't get invited. I didn't. I mean, we got invited like an hour before it started. At least yeah. I did. No, I y'all got it in our email. Because every bar stool content, we all got it in our emails. Y'all just probably didn't oh, check shit, it out. Oh, shit. I ain't content. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wait, you're not? Apparently. I don't know what you are, Yo, Dave says to Brianna, she he what goes, what's your girl O'Malley do? She goes, mm, she's just my girl. <laughs> <laughs> he said, yeah, what is O'Malley? I'm like, it all, baby. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, you said that on BFFs? I got my, I got I my hands in a oh, bunch of LA. Oh, okay, okay. Also, Dave goes, um, uh, 
what's your girl O'Malley ashing cigarettes on people's faces? I was like, uh, yeah. He was like, that's awesome. Uh, yeah, uh, that's <laughs> lit. The points for that's ashing lit. Cigarettes. That's yeah. lit. Who, who, who face you ashed on? Um, some <laughs> motherfucker at a frat. Okay. Yeah. yeah. He no, deserves no. it. He deserves it. He deserves it. it. You saying, only do the shit if you deserve he was saying, it. He was saying, why the fuck you guys on stage? Get the fuck off. I'm like... <gasps> <laughs> Oh, yeah. with the did, did he, wait, yeah. is, this, is this what happened with the punch? This is not the punch. No, no, no. what punch? Oh, with the shit. guy oh, got punch. it punched. Did you talk about the on the Tico Ten? I punched some him. guy oh, punched. Oh no, 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 that was That's high school. I got, I got knocked on that one. So he didn't punch you. <laughs> no, he, he didn't punch, punch you. Me. Okay. He just, he just uh, verbally assaulted my boy. Oh wow. Yeah, and that just ain't happening. Yeah, that just ain't happening. <laughs> Dude, my tits hurt so bad. Really? Yeah. Should we massage? <laughs> <laughs> What do they feel like? <laughs> Tightness? Yeah. Okay. I'm fucked up, bro. I'm not supposed to be drinking and smoking and shit. <laughs> I um, know. She's still supposed um, to for be how long? I got how the, long like, is the recovery last process? Last week. Uh, um, uh, six months for them to fully drop. Six weeks, I'm not <laughs> supposed to be doing any of this drop? shit. Okay. Yeah. Uh, have <laughs> you had them for a week? Um, yeah. Eight okay. day, nine days, maybe? Hey. I, don't I don't even know what fucking day it is anymore. All this shit's blending together. It's crazy. Yeah, no. you know Do you so feel crazy? like life is moving so fast yes. now? I feel like you always had big boobs. I can't remember you now with little boobs. No, it's like it, weird. It, no, it was a no, it's, it's, I know, but it's weird. Like, it fits her so well now. Yeah. They're not too big. That like, I just can't even imagine how you was before. I know, I can't either. That's kind of weird. I know. It was like <laughs> she last was, week. She could have wore, she could have wore, like, uh, like, swim trunks at the, at the beach. Like, that's how flat they were. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, sorry, my boy. I'm they not tapping you up on that. They look, <laughs> they look good. Man. No, actually, sometimes like I, it's crazy because when you have big, like you know, when you have yeah. little boobs, it looks oh, good wait, in a stop, lot of don't stuff. Blame me. Well, not little, but like not big. Don't like blame me. it looks good in some clothes, bit, and I'm no, like, no, I'm gonna miss it. It, 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 it was different. It was different. Bit, I'm like, I'm gonna miss it sometimes. Like sometimes like a little cute shirt, and I'm like, I can't just wear a little cute shirt without looking like a whore. That's you know what good I mean? though. Like we yeah, look, so. That's the whole point. Come on, you got boob jobs to look like a whore. Let's I not pretend. Yeah, no, that's no, fair. That's that's serious. I, haven't, <laughs> I haven't, I haven't dumped them out yet. I need to. The I know. I haven't posted them on anything. <laughs> the oh my god! When are you, how are you gonna reveal it? I don't know. And now it's like suit? so built up that I have to like do something crazy. Facts. Yeah. yeah I don't do. know. Do. I don't know. I haven't worn we'll um like like a V cut or like any kind of shirt without feeling weird since middle school because I got kicked out of student council for wearing V necks because I had big ass boobies. Yeah, it was yeah, fucked it up. Was crazy. Like, it kind of fucked me up. What? You got kicked out of the club out of student yeah, council? Yeah, student council club. For wearing V-necks? For wearing V-necks. Because I have yeah. big ass tits and nobody else did. Baseball fans go by no, no, another set yep. of rules. Yeah. <laughs> I swear to God. It was so fucked up. Suburban kid. How do you uh, How do you like New York compared to L.A.? Um, I love the hustle and bustle of it. LA closes at 2 a.m., right? I you know, know, and it's done. I hate that. That was crazy. I hate that. When I was in LA, I yeah. thought for some reason it's party, party, party. And it's, I guess it's house parties after, but it's just exactly. weird that everything shuts down at 2. It's like a, LA is a day city, New York yeah. is a night city. Yeah. So that's the big difference on it. Everyone goes on the day, and then, you know, at night they like chill at home. In New York, everyone is at home a day mm-hmm. and then out at night. So it's kind of, it's, I like it. I, li- I feel like I'm turning into like Tico 3.0. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, in LA, I was so comfortable. And like being uncomfortable that's that growth you know yeah. what i'm saying like it, you grow when you're uncomfortable you know how you said you hate it you kind of hate it right here because you yeah. don't i mean right now yeah. we hated new york for a whole last year we were the same exactly. shit we had no friends exactly. yeah. we didn't do anything exactly. uh we didn't i didn't my boyfriend wasn't here mm. it was I miserable we really yeah. hated it like i, I wanted to leave yeah. and now we fucking love it exactly. so I, it's, you just gotta, i'm getting into that i'm getting yeah. into that <laughs> and once you start loving it it's a vortex it takes <laughs> you right in <laughs> yeah it takes you fucking down 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 <laughs> I feel oh, like the, up, up, up. I feel like I never used to really like black out or get so drunk until I came to New York though. I, I swear to God. And mind you, I'm a party girl, but I feel like I never drank so much. That People when go I come to New so York. crazy Is here. It the stress? And I don't know, maybe. Yeah, because it's everything's so fast, everything's moving, and yeah. all week long you're like, oh, I don't know, life is so crazy. And then you go out on the weekend you're and like, it's like, I fucking give oh me my it gosh, all. Last night. Spit in my well, mouth. We literally acted like we were sixteen year olds though last, last night. Last night was prom. Tico you're, comes no, in and goes last night. Was like, you were wrong. with 16 year olds? We act like 16 year olds. Oh, like, okay, I, someone that won't be named was on the floor. Did you, yeah. you remember that part? Yeah, yeah. A lot of people were no, on the it, fucking it happens floor. To the best of us. People, like, there was a lot. No, other people no, on the floor. Mad people, people on the floor? People, yeah. people were dropping. People were dropping. Like, like dropping dead. Like, like dropping dead. Like, 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 like little mid dance group. <laughs> fucking <laughs> dropping dead. Me and Tico had to like stop our rap game Literally. and we're like, the fuck? Yeah, we're like, what's going on? Goddamn. Like, I'm crazy, but that's fucked up, bro. If I came with you, I would have been bodies hit the overload. Wait, guys. Have you ever been to Cash? 
Yeah. Okay. We have, went, you, have you been to Catch Before? We oh, went for crowded. Noah's birthday. Oh, no. Nice. That was our first time going shout to the rooftop. Noah. Shout yeah. out Noah. Shout out Agent Noah. Orange. We love Noah sits in my mouth all the time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but last that, night, great. That tall guy was kind of cute. The black guy. Oh, Not the shorter Arthur. one, but the tall one. Uh, Aaron, yeah. <laughs> he was, they were nice. Yeah. I met Aaron last night, so the shorter one is like my good friend. Oh, you didn't know the other guy? No, that's his good friend from home. Oh, okay. So, yeah. He, yeah. Was, he was kind of cute. He was cool. Yeah. I, I liked his vibe. His yeah. Energy. He was touching my boy's butt, though. <laughs> wow. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Fuck. He's fucking gay. You know, you know how guys like, like give you like a good fight? Like, you good? He kept going, you good? You good? You good? <laughs> Oh my god! It was like a friendly. You, you know my boy. Whoa, and it was like, hey, that's whoa, a too many pets. So feel that one ass. is one too many. <laughs> I, I think everyone was just super fucked up. But last night, Grace, so she blacked out at eleven thirty, right? Yes. And uh, we're at the pregame. Yes. I look at her. I'm like, baby, you can't come out. There's yeah. no way you could fucking come out. I don't she's know. Like, I remember this? Yeah. So she's going. She's all like, I gotta pee. I was actually wearing <laughs> this, so there was no way I was going out. <laughs> and then she fucking runs to the bathroom. <laughs> I hear a. Uh, I have like a booger. Nice, uh, dude. She Get that booger. I got that booger, sugar. Um, so she, she is, runs. It, is it really a booger? <laughs> <laughs> How crazy was the goddamn night? <laughs> so, this motherfucker runs to the bathroom. I just hear shit falling and smashing. I'm like, wait, what? Yes, yeah, so I'm like, I'm gonna go, oh, I'm gonna go check on my girl <laughs> Mally. I'm gonna go check on O Dog. Check on the guy. And I check on the guy. <laughs> She's feet in the air, face in the tub. Wait, wait. I'm like, wait, me. what? Yeah. Are you serious right now? Yes. <laughs> and I'm oh like, I'm like, oh dog, we gotta get up. Oh, dog. She sits, she sits up, smashes her head off the sink. I'm like, what do we do? And you gotta pee oh or something? My God. This motherfucker has jeans on. These yes. She <laughs> takes her jeans and takes them off like leggings. She didn't unbutton them, didn't unzip them. She I'm slid her dead. jeans off like leggings. I what am, crazy I've psychopath never seen does that, that in my life. I've never seen someone I've slide their jeans off. So I didn't even see her do this, right? And she's oh pissing, she pees. She stays on the toilet for like 35 minutes. I'm oh like, my Chris, God. we gotta get up. I gotta put your pants on. She's like, no, bro, I'm taking a nap. I was like, <laughs> No, your pussy's out. Like, you want our guy <laughs> friends to just come in here with you p- pussically, <laughs> pussically fit in this bitch. And I'm like, no, Gracie, we got to get up. So then I, I, I pick her up and then I'm putting her pants on. Oh my and I'm like, God. they're fucking not unbuttoned or unzipped. <laughs> she just slid them off. And then I had to put her to bed and I was like, this bitch is so high school drunk that I need to put her on her side. Oh my God. And we almost put her in a backpack because oh we're like, so, you couldn't, so that you wouldn't lean over. And then this motherfucker lost her phone. Wait. <laughs> In is the that, apartment. Is that, is that what happened last night? Did that happen it. last night? No, it's, okay, it's, okay, it's okay, been okay. fucked up. I actually got a new phone, but I'm what too fucked up to get a new Grace? one. Where were you drinking again? Yo, that so black here's, the thing. here's the thing. I okay. wasn't going to go out last here's night. Here's the thing. 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 I wasn't going to go out last night. Baby girl's begging, bleeding, caring so much for me to come out. And Tell my boys to come out with me. No, 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 I know. I get that. But, like, my have the tables have turned. I used to be like, yo, dude, we only live once. She doesn't want to be out. the only girl? I used to say that to you all the time. Now You it's said you it twice it when you me. went to Blue Haven without me twice. <laughs> with the boys. <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> um, don't make me look stupid on the paw. <laughs> I'm just being <laughs> honest. what she was drinking so anyway, and have the I, unbuttoned I got button. there. Jeez. I didn't want to I didn't want to go out, but if I, if I didn't go out, I was going to jump out my window. It was, it was one of those days. One of those days. Okay. You know those days. I get those days. I get those yeah. days. I just had that day like yesterday. Too yeah. much. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so it's one of those days. And I every drink I got, I just one sipped it. One sipped it. One sipped it. And until I one sipped myself to that flower. Is this, is this vodka? <laughs> What's that? Is this vodka? Vodka. Whatever she could get her hands on. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Vodka okay. beer. Yeah. So okay. she vodka passed beer. out. And then wow. we ended up uh, yes. catch. Yeah. Yes. I, te- I told Noah to text you. I know. And yes. I, was, I was like, and on then, my way. Okay. So this one. On my way. This one was balling. I literally this, this just bought my bottle. This one I knew she was balling. And she was like, is there a table? I'll buy it. I was like, wait, she said that? He's like, yeah. I'm like, She just left another table. I was going to go buy another table. I don't know. This motherfucker right here. I I'm love it. I love it. Yeah, what the fuck? It's monopoly money at this point. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no. No. dude, and we're going to no. Vegas. <laughs> no, wait, you know, I like, know. No one told me. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to no Vegas. No one fucking told me. And I'm like, crazy. in two weeks, right? I know. You got booked with chain smokers. No, I'm. We're just going to the okay. festival. Okay, okay, yeah, okay yeah, cool. Yeah. Okay, I'm not Liddy, playing, Liddy, but Liddy, it's gonna Liddy. be super fun. Damn, that's. I'm excited. Right, yeah, we're going to like right. after party festival, but I think we need to take you on. You need. We need to. Yeah, no, you gotta come to a tour. No, we definitely. You gotta come to one of the tour stops. We definitely do. Maybe LSU. When is that? That one's gonna be fun. What date is that? At the end of April. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. I'm I down think that for could that. be a fun one. I'm down for that. Yeah. You always catch your flights anyways. Whenever you're going to Florida, I'm going to be in Texas, I think. Oh, okay. Right? When is spring break for you? Or we leave um, Friday? Yeah. 
Like yeah. what what date is it? The thirteenth. The thirteenth? Yeah. That's the date of the show? Uh we have like three events. Ooh, nice. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, so it's, it's gonna be a the lot. Ones with waka. Ooh. Waka. Yeah. <laughs> waka waka yeah. <laughs> Make it rain, man. I go all in the motherfucking pain. Yeah. I love that. I love the Barack Obama. Did y'all get the Barack y'all done the Barack Obama remix? No. Y'all gotta hear it. Y'all gotta hear it. It's called Baraka Flocka Flame. Oh, Baraka Flocka Flame. I like that. I like that. I'm telling you, it's Baraka Flocka Flame. Y'all gotta watch that shit. So, Tico. So what's yes. what's next for you? What do you want to do? What is some shit yeah. you want to get done? Aspirations, aspirations, dreams. It's right? Always a I, hard question. I look, you like want to have a family. Yeah, mm. yeah. Low, like a low is key. I want to yeah. get married. The key's low. That, that threw wanna... me for a loopy <laughs> doopy. <laughs> I know. I was spent on my dress. I'm telling you, everyone's always surprised by me, right? I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah. No, but um, I mean, I do. I want to write a book. Okay. I want to do a music tour. I don't know. Y'all don't know. I, I rap. I'm a mm-hmm, musician. Um, I got an EP for Hire. just came out. Um, Where can they find it? Well, right now it's just on SoundCloud, but um, it's going to be on Apple Music and Spotify once it gets distribu- distributed to all the stores. So um, it'll be on sh- all the streaming services soon, but go on SoundCloud.com for Hire. Tico, Texas. I just dropped that. So it's like, I want to go on tour. I want to do a lot. I want to like maximize my life. Know. You know what yeah. I'm saying? That's what it is. I just want to maximize and do as much as we We only got one, right? Nope. I know. We only got motherfucking one. So let's live it up. But I definitely do be thinking about like a family because I feel like I'm not really like a serial dater. I'm mm-hmm. not good at it. I'm not good at like literally like i'm good Fuck with low-key like <laughs> i'm down to have just like one ride or die ass guy with me and like we have accountability and you know what i'm saying yeah. and like low-key get married and have kids and buy a house and shit like that i feel like that's my i go back and forth too like yeah. i like i want that eventually but it's like when i don't know it's crazy. when when will it fit and then in i feel like once you do that it's almost like you have to put everything so the the back, back burner, burner that's yeah. the thing that's the Which yeah, and that's scary. that's why and I think that's why we haven't tried yet because we're still living our lives for us. Oh you yeah, because sure. once you become a mom, it's like damn, you ha- you're not living for you <laughs> you're, no more. You're not living for this you anymore. Like, yeah. You're, you're living. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like, this motherfucker is so I codependent. I say yeah. I want it, but I low key can't imagine it. I can't imagine a little motherfucker. Right. Mommy, mommy, mommy! Like I'm trying yeah. to smoke my blunt. Oh. I got to smoke my blunt. I'm trying to drink my Casamigos, and I got to worry about this you motherfucker. Know, God we, damn it! We were saying that fucking. You know when it was like normal to like beat the shit out of your kids when like a while ago and then it like went out of style well, I think it's coming back. back I think it's coming back I'm bringing that shit like if that little motherfucker fuck them kids no, like fuck, fuck, fuck them kids you. fuck them kids give them a little bro. smack I'm not gonna beat their ass but like give them a little smack yeah you don't, you don't you don't contribute do if you, if anything if you don't come <laughs> correct if you don't come correct and you talk to me with that bitch ass little yeah. smirk like a little slap can y'all, can y'all imagine to. having a daughter like y'all Oh God! Oh no. my God! That's the scariest part about having a kid. No, that'd be my boy. That's the, no, I'd be nah. like, yo, you just, you're just home. like mommy, yeah. You're just like mommy. I would love that. No, if my kids just like you, I'd be like, Baller. you would love it. You would yeah, love it. Like, I would. Mommy, I feel like I would be stressed the fuck out. Well, yeah, I know I stress my parents out. But I know I stress my parents out. I get I get a good head on my shoulders, I would yeah. think. Yeah. You'd yeah. like to say. Yeah. Yeah, you do. I'm not like, I'm very much mature. Mature. I'm mature. Much Fair, Fair enough. Fair enough. But also, it's like, how do you, I'm scared, like, when you become a parent, mm. how do you parent? Do you do it too hard? Mm. If you go too hard, then you have a fuck up. And then if you go exactly. too lenient, you have a fuck up. It's like, exactly. where's the happy? Strict it's parents scary. make for sneaky kids. Exactly. That's, Straight up. Our parents so. were super strict. Yeah. You and what were your parents so like? sneaky. <laughs> My parent, my mom is Nigerian, right? Okay. I'm Nigerian. Uh-huh. Um, so my mom w- was fuck, trying to right? be strict, but she was gone 22 hours of the day working. Oh. She was a so she mom. couldn't be as strict as she so wanted. So it's like, you know, I was able to do a lot. But and it's like, kind of. How many siblings kinda, you have? I have four other siblings. There are five okay. of us. Yeah. One is a neosurgeon. Okay. She went to Drexel. Oh, in Philly. She lives in Philly. <laughs> That's in Fishtown. That's awesome. She's fucking dope. Pisces season. She's a Pisces. Shout out Pisces. Um, that's the oldest. And we have the second oldest is my brother. So we're not actually twins, mm-hmm. but we have the same birthday. Yeah, which is crazy. And the same mom and dad. Yeah. So he's the second oldest. That's Patrick. Shout that's, out to Patrick. It's called Irish and twins. Then, oh, that's what it's called? Irish twins. Oh, Liddy. So we're Irish because twins. They, they, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Liddy. Because they that's just that. keep dumping them out. <laughs> <laughs> they don't believe in birth control or anything. Yeah, that's just a, that pussy just a slide. <laughs> <laughs> then we got number three. 
Um, she's in Tokyo, Japan. She's in the Navy. Oh, oh shit. shit. Yeah, she's she's stationed out there, whatever. They've got number four. That's me in Otiko, Texas, the crazy <laughs> bitch. Cool and then we got number five. That's Josh. He um was in the Navy as well. He just got done with his service. Oh, shit. And now he's back home. Oh, so we have two military soldiers. We have three. Three? She, yeah, she's in the Navy, too. Okay, so Pat was in the Navy. Okay. Pat used to be in the, oh, in the Marines. That. Okay, all right. Used to be in the he Marines. He looks like a motherfucking Marine. Yeah, yeah. He, <laughs> he never, he never that lost That boy is chest. big body. Yeah. <laughs> that bitch just fucked you up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's oh, scary. He's I'll bring, we should bring him <laughs> for security. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we need him for the tour. Yeah. He might be busy on at the bitches, though. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that attacks. That attacks. <laughs> He would not be security. He'd just no. be fucking making out there. He'd be insecure. Yeah. He'll secure the pussy. Yeah. I know that's right. Yeah, so Bro, you guys are a big family. Pussy. I know that's right. Yeah, yeah. Big family. That's a I don't have a big family? I, I do. She does. She has a lot of siblings. I have okay. um, three other siblings. Okay, nice. I'm the nice. oldest. Oh, yeah, nice, so I uh, I laid the pipe for everyone. Exactly. You know I don't what think I'm that's saying? the right word. Yeah, you <laughs> did. You did. Pipe. You laid that pipe, I didn't baby. I laid the pipe for all my little you sisters. Laid it nice. Oh God. Good grief! <laughs> you just out here laying pipe what, on your sister. What do y'all feel about your parents watching y'all content? Oh, mine um, don't. They only see I'm my so, TikToks. It's so annoying. No, my mom, yeah. I'm so annoyed at it. My mom my is dad. always texting me after an episode like, oh my gosh, you're blacking out every night. What is wrong with you? Da, da, da. I'm like, mom, like some of it is a little bit exaggerated and yes, yeah, some of it is true. But like, I'm not just a fuck up. You know what I'm <laughs> yeah. saying? Like, just I'm blacking honest. out. It's because content, I, BB. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's crazy. I feel like they just don't understand like our lifestyle. Like yeah, we're, we're in New York, they're wherever and the fuck they're at, so like they're scared. Work. Exactly. Yeah. Our, our job is very different it is. Parents, <laughs> my parents are like slow down slow down i'm like if i yeah. slow down then, then like, i'm done i'm done I'm yeah. gotta keep it going i gotta, I gotta keep, keep it going, going. At least like five more years. <laughs> <laughs> my, my parents are like can't anymore right because yeah, yeah, you you to. To. pretty soon, i mean you eventually will be the old bitches at the party so exactly. we gotta, we gotta yeah. enjoy no, it while you, we're young oh, and time is a ticket i hate that i hate that you getting old no that's scary that's so because we are definitely still gonna be the old bitches at the party oh my god I'm not gonna lie. So I think I'm think, never I think leaving I New York City. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not fucking leaving. The concrete jungle is my fucking home I now. My dreams are I, I, I say to buy Tim until I make this. my million. I'm not leaving here, and then yeah. I'm gonna go back to LA. Facts. Yeah, but I'm like until I make that million, I'm not motherfucking leaving. Not motherfucking, motherfucking leaving. I got that motherfucking bag. Going, I'm just kidding. That fourteen dollars. We going. We going. Oh yeah, Gracie. We're good. No, but my my parents are avid listeners. Yes. I think my mom came. So my mom came on Monday. I think she came just to check in. I saw. Yeah. Fry's Instagram. Yep. Mm-hmm. Y'all were getting drunk. Yeah, she's 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 my. I cheat on her with her. She's my best friend. Yeah. Your mom. Yeah, she's okay. the best. She knows everything. She's, it yeah. looks yeah. sweet. Yeah, yeah. Looks she's sweet. awesome. You would you would fuck with her. Y'all were at the bar. <laughs> That's where y'all yeah, are. Yeah, that okay. bar. So that's yeah. the bar I blacked out at last oh, night. Oh wow! Okay. A little casual we, bar. We don't want to say the name because they no, might. No, no, Blue Haven East. I love Blue Haven East. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I want to give them all the clubs. Okay, okay. Lydia, Lydia, we love Lydia. it there. Yeah, we love it there. And How long like was she there? Um, she was here for like twenty-four hours. Wow. Yeah, I think she came just to like uh, check make in. sure. <laughs> yeah, like, let me see. Make sure. Let me see your scars on your face. Yeah. My yeah. hair do be crunchy. <laughs> <laughs> she came in and just started shitting on your jeans too. Yo, yeah. She's like, dude, those jeans are crazy. Was your pussy whistling? <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what happened? Grace has two pairs of jeans. <laughs> the jeggings. <laughs> yeah. The jeggings and her pussy whistle yeah. jeans. And her mom comes in and she's like, <laughs> Grace leaves the room and her mom goes, what the fuck is up with her jeans? I'm like, bro, I didn't want to say it. I can't say it. <laughs> she's like, I can't. I'm her mom. Grace's mom sounds fucking hilarious. No, no, dude. She's and then she's boy. like, Grace, oh take God. those fucking jeans off. Oh burn God. them. <laughs> After the That's day, but, yeah, it's crazy. But yeah. Grace's mom That's is cute. fun. Yeah. She knows That's everything. Cute. My parents don't don't know how to listen to their yeah. shit. They wouldn't. They, yeah. I'm glad they don't. No, okay. Huge. It's <laughs> great. That is great. It's nice because I can just say whatever. I'm not scared. Exactly. Yeah. I still don't give a fuck. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, okay, mom. You know. Like it, I don't give a fuck. I'm, I'm not gonna woman, like yeah. fucking turn my shit down just for you. For, like for at the end of the day, get get with it. Once the money starts flowing <laughs> yeah. in, then you'll understand. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So just just hold it down yeah. for now. You yeah. Know Once saying? I was paying bills, my parents were like, "Okay, 
whatever. Exactly, do, exactly. But. We see what you're doing. Yeah. All right, guys, quick commercial break for Revitalite. I talk about it all the fucking time. It's my favorite hangover helper ever. Also, it's in all of the bodegas on my streets now, which is amazing. It's everywhere I go. It follows me everywhere. I use it on all my college tours. Pro tip, drink half before you go out, before you start drinking alcohol. And then when you wake up, you drink the rest, and then you're going to feel a lot better. I swear to God, it's actually a hangover helper. Uh, Revitalite is the best, uh, and it's also super convenient and easy. So it's in liquor stores, it's in convenience stores, and you don't have to make two trips. Also, it's online. Revitalite Black Label is made specifically for you guys, for stoolies, for us. So it's maximum strength, and you can pick up Revitalite Black Label today in-store, online, at the Barstool store, and tweet us or tag us at Drink Revitalite in your morning after stories. You know I repost everything. I love seeing it, so tag me. Let's get back to the show. <laughs> did, they, like, did your parents believe in you that you were going to get here and be at this point? Yeah, my big, okay. very, very big supporters. Okay. Let me okay. drop out of school. My they, mom is a great supporter, but I think shit. that, I mean, for I started doing modeling and music 2012, mm -hmm. right? This is so two, a while this ago, is yeah. 10 years they now. So my time. mom is like, um, I believe in you, is this going to be a real up? job? Yeah, 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 like, come on, it's 10 years of you kind of trying to be this entertainer. Yeah. What's going to happen or whatever like that? So I feel like when I, once I finally landed the contract, I feel like she was like, wow, like, I it's been a long time coming. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. This is awesome. That's yeah. cool that you have such like a long journey too. Because I feel like mine happened so quick and like it was very uncertain and I had no idea what was going on. But uh, you like worked your ass off for it. Definitely. The That's greatest. Props to you. The greatest. Thank you. Props to Tico. Thank you. Props the greatest have that struggle story. It is. It's not, I'm not people saying think, you were struggling. But people like, think the success is overnight, and it's like it really takes so long. Mm. Oh That's my what gosh, it just yeah. looks like. It just looks like overnight. Like I a know. lot of people, people will probably think that I did. I just did this overnight. They mm -hmm. won't know about the, the history. They won't know about everything I've been through. I so. didn't know. And a lot mm -hmm. of people also think it's like easy, super easy. This oh my is gosh. Like, it's the hardest shit you've ever done. I'm like dying. <laughs> it's crazy. No, seriously. I put Still like your whole life free. on the internet for yeah, everyone. Exactly. To, like everyone. You're always vulnerable. Everyone knows everything about Exactly. You. you have no privacy exactly and it's just like go 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 it is. it's not it seems like a fun easy job but it's not it's really fucking not sometimes not. i'm like i wish i was just normal exactly i wish i just stayed in school but okay. it'll all be worth it i hope so it is it does make you a little depressed though this it life. does it's kind of crazy it does <laughs> would you say I you're happy right now i would say i'm happy because i feel like i'm closer to the goal than i've ever been yeah mm. you know what i'm saying so i'm happy with That's that huge. it does suck i you know lost my best friend of 10 years she was a pisces uh, you know we we are really cool like i feel like on the road to success uh, like the people that are closest to a lot of people that are closest to you you the, you, you don't think they're not going to be around and you think that they're going to be around mm -hmm. so it's like i'm definitely at my loneliest point of my life ever but it's like towards success so it's like it's happy and then not happy and you know what I'm saying? It's, yeah, it's, it's a, a little struggle. Bit it's a struggle, a, I won't lie. Yeah, sometimes yeah. you have to pick and choose. You. And also, I'm a firm believer in everything happens for a reason. And like some people are just put in your life for moments yeah. and not supposed to be there the whole entire time. I think yeah. people teach you lessons and yeah. then you find new ones and then honestly it was because i got the attachment because i was so attached to her she was such a part of my life that it was like once you know we stopped being cool i'm like damn who am i but i'm like i'm me you know what i'm saying and I'm then exactly that, make, that makes you yeah. forces you to like figure out who you are and exactly. learn yourself exactly it's scary when you're like fuck like a, my breakup i'm like yeah. holy shit i have to like be alone and figure out who i am by myself can which we is find scary. out the details on you and nick um, Kevin? <laughs> Tico always <laughs> calls him Kevin. It's so funny. It's Nick. Look, okay, Nick. okay. I got now it right. Kevin. For what? <laughs> you did get it right. I, got it Kevin. Right. I never correct her. She always comes over. She's like, how are you and Kevin? I'm like, yeah, we're good. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to go never good. Can we yeah. talk about what happened with you and Kevin? Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, I haven't really. Yeah. So I was just pretty much, I feel like I'm at this point in my life where my life revolves around... Uh, work to be honest and mm -hmm. i'm really re like selfishly just like all i care about is myself right now and she should be and I, I used to feel shitty saying that out loud but i don't think it's a shitty thing no, i think it's, it's okay to focus on yourself and it's like 100%. want to do things for yourself so mm. i was it was fucked up what i was doing to him i was like mm. putting him on the back burner all i cared about was like work and doing all this shit and traveling and I wasn't giving him what he needed and what he deserved because he was a really good person. He was a really great boyfriend. And like, just like loved me so much. Yeah. And I love him so much, which is the hardest part. Exactly. So because I love him, I had to end it. I was just wasn't fair to him. So exactly. I, I just made the decision to 
end it so he can he was miserable i was making him miserable exactly i was like not a lovey-dovey girlfriend anymore i was just like we're we're just roommates at this point Mm. and i could see it like i was like fucking him up and Mm. i hated that and then i hated myself for it and i never wanted to be the one to break up with him or finally pull the trigger because i was selfishly scared for myself exactly and i didn't want to hurt him but i think i'm helping i think We've come to the conclusion, both of us, we, we actually talked on the phone for like two hours yesterday, which was oh, really nice. good. Oh, he's nice. coming tomorrow. I get nice. to say my buys. He's moving out, which is really sad. <sighs> Tomorrow's going to fucking suck. Um, Cause that's like uh, a, I'm going to cry thinking about it. I'm not going to talk about tomorrow, but um, yeah, it's, it's fucked up. But sometimes you gotta like hard things. I don't know. Sometimes things it's are hard, pains. but it's, it's, it's a good thing. It yeah. Is. And I'm so young and I feel like I was just I was just trying to stay in something that wasn't working. Because you are a serial relationship girl. Yes, yes. You've been in a relationship. You I was dating 17. him for three You're, years. Yeah. Before, Before that. Before him, yeah, I was in a relationship for three years. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've just been in a relationship for so long. You gotta figure out who you are, exactly. not as a girlfriend, not mm-hmm. as a partner. Like, just as a person. Yeah, if you don't amazing. do it now, then What's up with when am I gonna do yeah, it? Exactly. Mm-hmm. exactly. And he realized that too. He feels the same way. It sucks it's gr- so I think bad. It, I think it's good though because you kind of see what you want in that potential person. Like, okay, I, this is I, I love that Kevin did this for me. Nick, sorry. <laughs> I love that Kevin was like this for me. I, I need a I need my boyfriend to be a best friend you yes, know what i'm saying like you yes. like you know what you want and it's yeah, like it's good and it's exactly grown. and if and y'all can always get back together later, exactly that's the thing yeah i'm totally on some scene. i don't want a boyfriend right now mm-hmm. i don't me either. i'm like i want to focus At on all. me because when i'm in a relationship i lose myself i won't lie because as tourists like we're such a nurturers mm-hmm. so it's like it, it all becomes about your happiness and da, 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 and checking in on you and da, da. i don't want to do that i want to make sure i'm good yeah i want to put all the money mm-hmm. i spend a lot of money in relationships too because i'm always trying to make the other person happy like let me put money into myself let me put mm-hmm. love into myself agreed so i don't even want a boyfriend right now single season single season, single season. city girls single for the summer girls, city for the summer single for the summer boyfriend you have a boyfriend <laughs> For a lot of Dell is going the down. The <laughs> greatest wants a boyfriend. Fair enough. You've been single for the yeah, summer. Okay. I've been, been single for the yeah. summer. Yeah, I can, I can see that. Yeah, I can see why you want one. You probably you Gia want to, she doesn't want to, she doesn't want a boyfriend. But you want Gia and Grace will have boyfriends. They want they want consistent <laughs> dick. Yeah. That's what they want. Yeah. One consistent one dick. Consistent That's all. That's all we ever want, right? <laughs> That's all we ever want. He's so he's uh, whistling. Stop. Someone's gonna come along and kiss you like the princess you are, baby girl. Yeah, but single. First of all, I'm Ellie. You're 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 a fucking you're a diamond in the rough, okay? Ooh, so yes, at the end of the are. day, whoever ends up that with you, nice, uh, whoever ends up with you is gonna be a lucky ass motherfucker because oh he's gonna be constantly laughing. He will <laughs> never be bored. Yes, he that pussy will so love it. He will fucking love it. No, I swear. I'm like so excited for the day you get a boyfriend. It's gonna be right? so amazing. I, I'm gonna just be kind of sad because you know, I'm not around as much. Yeah, I'm gonna be the third kill. Oh my god, I can't wait for that day. Grace is always the third kill. Chicken fried can't come. I'm with Kevin. Oh, <laughs> oh shit, I get with Kevin? Oh, oh yeah, imagine. Oh, shit, you totally could. Yeah, you could, baby. I would have actually well, liked she, that. I'd be like, oh my god, cool. right? oh my god, yeah, this is awesome. Oh my god, that's fucking crazy. Oh, love that, love yeah, that. I can't wait for that. I'm actually, I'm really scared for that because I've never, you've never, you've always I'm been so there for me. You. Wait, I'm so, so dependent have, on you. Have you, you ever been in a relationship? No. No. <laughs> Got, gotten close? Situationships? No. <laughs> wait, wait. Oh, she doesn't put herself out there. Okay, she's, she's really working on it see now. You, like kissing okay. or like right? hugging, <laughs> like, not in a mean way. Just I being know. like lovey dovey. You I know. know what I mean? Like, yeah. like, I feel like you don't do that with boys. So that. that's what's holding you back. It it is. Exactly. It is. You exactly. Need to start to be like, no, you know what it is. <laughs> cutesy. No, I know what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I used to have a problem with it. We friend zone our potentials. Yeah, I we have to. Literally, no, it's because you're so fucking cool. You no, 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 no. No, it's a good thing. No, no, it's like they're so fucking cool that like some guys I would date. Like I'm sitting there and I'm playing Xbox with them. I'm watching a game with them. They're like, "Are you my yeah. girl? Or are you my friend? Or what's going on?" Because I'm exactly friends, yeah. you know. Yeah. Yeah. So it's exactly yeah, I that. Swear. No, I had an issue with that too, and I had to kind of get out of it and be more girly and, and start being a little bit yeah. more yeah. sexy. Let me put that, you. Put that woman no, power. Yeah. Yeah. You don't have to be girly, but like you have to like Not put yourself girly, out there for a relationship. Yeah. Like you have to yes. open that part of you up, yes. or a relationship not going to work. A little bit. Like, yeah. That's what I mean by girly, right? Relation- like yeah. a little, like yeah. a little cutie, a little flirty. Like a relationship fist pound. Yeah. Maybe a kiss pound. Yeah. 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 You 
can't call him bro every second. <laughs> yeah. You have to, you have to say <laughs> babe every now and then. Yeah. Oh, you don't my bro and my kiss. Yeah, yeah but they think, still can be. Think that you're his bro. Yeah. You're like, I oh, know. now he doesn't like me. She calls, she literally calls me fucking yeah. bro. You can't have a, a relationship without me. being affectionate. Exactly. Or affectionate. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. But my affection is... Your second dick? <laughs> no? okay. But that's for your friends. That's for your friends. Uh, yeah, just I know suck you a be dick. sucking dick, so. Grace, you be sucking that dick, baby girl. She do. She do. Yeah, <laughs> Damn, I got, them guys I got are winning. History. I got a bad history. <laughs> they, yeah, they, no, we're they, working on it. We're in New York. We'll find yeah, you somewhere. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. No, enough about me. Everything Eco. comes in time. Everything <laughs> comes in time. Do you ha- so What's you that? have no situation ship right now? I do have a, a situation ship. Okay. Mm. I do. I finally got my first situation ship. Or... It's not really sneaky. I asked him, though. I'm not going to lie. I just saw him like... The, okay, so yesterday I came straight from his house to Barstool. That's okay. why I had no makeup on. Like, you know, like, you, ne- yeah, like, yeah, you, yeah, you yeah. never see me like that. <laughs> but I came straight from his house to Barstool. And yesterday I asked him, I was like, can we just be slides? Like, what do you think about us being slides? He's like, no, th- I don't think that that's cool. And I'm like, damn, because I want to put my, whatever it is, I like to put it in a box. Yep. Whatever is going on, I want to know so I can be like, this is how I act accordingly. So it's weird when you're dating, but, Mm -hmm. you know, especially if you're, like, having sex, if it's unprotected, that can kind of cause emotions. And it's like, oh, you're my boyfriend, but then I don't want you to be my boyfriend. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of tough with them situationships. So I'm I'm just letting it rock out. You know what I'm (laughs) saying? Because I really don't want, I want to be crazy and be like, like, you're my dick and that's it. But it's like, damn, really, like, (laughs) is this your pussy and that's it? I mean, Exactly. It's always like, that's the worst. It's like, I want you, I want you would only fuck me but i want to fuck everyone exactly so it's like we can't we can't do that we can't be we, in a that's relationship. The, yeah. so let's just the situation is it's working out i like him he's from harlem um he's a gemini oh jesus oh, God. bitch right bitch I'm a oh my they god got he's two driving different me personalities nuts. i'm not oh, like, oh, my my relationship wise i can see how gemini's are yes. the worst oh okay. my god i'm the <laughs> worst in a relationship fucking nuts i'm two like, different people the only one i believe in yeah, <laughs> because that's the only people I know. Yeah, <laughs> my yeah. mom, my dad, and my bestie. Yeah. It's just it's, oh, it's kind of yeah. weird. I don't know if it's just Gemini's. I don't know if it's just him. But it's like I hate having to get reassurance. Like, do you like me or what? Like, I hate yeah. having to ask that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, I, like you be having to ask that. Like, do you like me? Yes, I, say, I, yeah, like, I like you. I yeah. Okay, I guess because you don't call my phone a whole bunch and you don't seem like you act no. like me that goddamn much. So, but they, but he does kinda, because like I'm like that too. I, yeah. I love you, but I don't need to text you. I don't yeah. want to talk to you yeah. unless you're in front of me. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's the how problem. he is. Yeah, that's how he is. But it's person, not. It's, it's not awesome. A, yeah, it's fucked I would like up. To text it's someone. weird. It's weird. It's weird. <laughs> I know. It's weird. It's hard to. Y'all Gemini's, man. It's like I, y'all want to be chased or some baby, shit. Like, take, come on, man. What the fuck? I'm the prize, motherfucker. I know. It's crazy. <laughs> Grace wants to text someone. Yeah. <laughs> you guys, you guys, me right now. <laughs> you guys have sex and fall in love with people. I do Molly and fall in love with people. <laughs> And you don't, you don't touch them. You just look at them, and you're like, <laughs> "Oh, what a fuck!" This is Grace and Molly. <laughs> but I love it. Oh it's crazy. Crazy. Nobody loves me. I hate to make sure mouth move like that. I, I, I hate that. I, I know. Like, I hate when people. I hate people can tell like you're, on you're on drugs. Exactly. Yeah, it's like I'm I a, hate that. That's when you're that's off the drugs. No, no. So like, that's when, like not you're not on drugs. You're on the drugs. That bitch is off the drugs. I just want to be on drugs. Like I'm on. I'm gonna be off the drugs. So you're always going like, ah, ah, yeah. Ah, and you're, and you're like, like, you look like a crackhead. Yeah. Oh, you look like a crackhead. You do. Because you're doing math. Because <laughs> you're doing math. You're doing math. Yeah. No, mom is awesome. E monster. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I throw up every time. So, I oh my gosh. but yeah, that's yeah. crack. But yeah, so you guys want to go pop a Molly and get out of here? Let's yeah, let's do it. Let's All right, pop a Molly. We sweating. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> let's end it on that. Tico fucking ten. I'm yes. so happy that you came on the podcast. Thank you. She's a bad fucking bitch. Tico love Texas. You. We love her. Check her out. Follow her. Yeah, yeah on T-I-K-O everything. Tiko Texas. Check out that new Tiko. T-I-K- T-I-K- yeah, please do for hire on SoundCloud. It's gonna be on all streaming services. Tiko Texas and then. T H E T O ten, go ahead T E N. Yes. T H E T I K O T E N. So y'all check that out. I love Chicken Fry. I really like. She's one of my probably actually my favorite person at Barstool because I feel like she's just so genuine. She doesn't Thanks. click up with anybody. She's not like fucking. Oh, this bitch doesn't like you, and I like her, so I'm gonna not like you or whatever like that. Like I, I've always got genuine energy from you, Thank and you. I really appreciate that. Like it's made me feel accepted, you know. And it's uh, like when I get texts like with that bitch text me yesterday <laughs> or whatever. When I get stuff like that, I can kind of like be like, okay, well, there's good people like Chicken Fry here, so Aww. it's like. 
like, oh, it's all good. It's all we good. Love you, Tico. Love you. We Thank love you it. so much for having all me. Right. I can wait for us to turn up. Yes, yes, bitch. Okay, it's going to be prom again tonight. Love you guys. Talk to you next Tuesday. Love you. I just did.